Uh, good evening. My name is Iman Chapman. I'll be speaking on Chapter 4, uh, Social Networks. Um, really caught my eye. Uh, I, 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 I won't be too long. I uh, apologize. I kind of plan this kind of bad. I have workouts in the next 20 minutes. So um, I'm going to try to get this over with uh, quickly, but also give you a good understanding of what I gained throughout this chapter. And um, there's actually a few things that caught my eye. And um, I put a few notes down next to them. But um, let, uh, let's, let's talk about something that's actually happening currently that was mentioned in the chapter. And uh, the power of social networks have become a concern for some governments which have blocked or censored social media. And I put a vlog next to this one because TikTok came to my mind immediately. And uh, TikTok has been something that's been in the air quite, for quite some time when it comes to America and I think um, China. Um, I, I, I think that there's a lot more behind it that politically than, than, than we truly know about that, 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 that some of the community neglect. I don't want to get into politics when it comes to this uh, conversation. Um, but I do think there's a, a certain hidden agenda on several ends as where TikTok is um, not being allowed here in the United States. And actually, it was actually up for that conversation in Congress, maybe not too long ago, maybe a, a less than a month ago, about whether TikTok was going to either um, stay, in, stay in the United States or be banned. And I think something prolonged the process. And, and now officially on Sunday, um, TikTok along with, with another um, uh, an, another social network uh, company uh, will be banned from the United States completely, like no more downloads. And it, it, it's kind of crazy um, the power that, that, that certain social networks have. and. Um, and in some instances it should be admired, in some instances it should, it should be questioned. It, it, it all depends. Um, and this is something that I learned about in, in, in another course that I think is connected with this is about situational ethics. So whether like in, in, in the United States, um, the situation ethics here um, from, you know, the, the higher power, not the higher power, but the higher ups and in, 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 in involved in government, I think it's not, not beneficial for for whatever reason, I, I do know that whenever um, I, I, I read deeper into this, I saw a video, and uh, was and it spoke on how the nobody connected with the government is allowed to um, have any type of not not yeah, anybody involved in the military is allowed to have any type of um, TikTok on their phone whatsoever. Now I have TikTok because. What I learned is that TikTok can uh, know your location, they can hear you talk, um, they know what you're doing when you're doing it, whenever you're logging in the app. So, and then the government thinks it's, it's that China is trying to find weaknesses within America to help structure an attack, which it makes sense. And then, like, um, if you look at a video online about uh, about about the concerns that the um, American government and military have about TikTok, it, it actually makes sense and, and, and opened my eyes a little bit too. But still, um, the, the way America is going right now and and being a black man in America, there's so many things that, that, that you truly do have to question in order for your own sanity and in order, in order, in order to make sure that, 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 that my own culture within myself isn't corrupted by, you know, by the, what I'm saying to the outside world. And, and I will say at the time for a black man, it's kind of confusing and, and it's kind of scary. And, um, but it has made me stronger. Um, and that, that's something that caught my eye. And let me see. Um, I think another one that, that they caught my attention was, oh, also, um, does anyone who posts Facebook is acting as a reporter? Um, and not necessarily Facebook. Um, and, uh, oh, and then it says right that mission and misinformation spreads, e uh, spreads online easily, false amber alerts, celebrity deaths, um, uh, such as that. So, um, uh, I connected with this because, um, uh, Twitter is my main social network and, and j just off of Twitter alone, you get a lot of, fake news. Um, I had to double check sometimes a year signings of basketball players who they, who did not go there or injuries of basketball players that did not happen. So you had to double check because some people like to get the, um, the stress levels increased in, in certain individuals and, and that, that's somebody's actually joy. So I understand that. That was for um, something that, that, that I saw that connected with me and that actually affected me. I saw like um, one of my one of my role, role models, not a personal friend, but somebody in the community who, um, from a community, he's from East Lake High School, he played in the NFL, and it said that he was signed to another team in the NFL. He played for the the, uh, the Ravens, several teams in, in, uh, in the NFL. He's actually had a pretty good career. Recently, he just toured ACL. So when I heard that news of him signing to a different team, it gave me hope, and, and, I'm, and I'm sending him congratulations. 
through through Twitter, you know, the best way I can. He didn't respond, obviously, you know. But uh, but then later on the day, he put, he posted something saying, "Oh, um, you guys do not trust what um, you saw about me being uh, signed today. That that's not true. I'm still at home with my family." Um, his agent got several calls today, confused. So that, that that's just something small as well. That that, that that's that's been you know um, that, that 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 occurs in social media that that we need to be more cognizant about. You know, even though we see information on one of our favorite uh, media websites, we need to fact check it. And I think that's something that we should learn to become, that we should become accustomed to because we should not always take what we see or what we read firsthand as the right thing. So um, thank you.